Hello everybody, something a little bit fun today. Fun for me, don't know whether it'll be fun for you. Um, I was messing around with lots of eyeshadow palettes last week and it seems to be a bit of a thing to be putting these sort of instructions or guides to how to do a certain eye look either printed on the inside of the box, which was quite useful, or as a little insert that comes with it. And um, I thought, why not see if I can follow instructions and do a sort of smoky eye look. So that's what I'm doing today. I've got these Clarins ones. I have to be honest, I've already tried it with the palette number one, which is nudes, where's it gone? Let's have a look at this. And it did look really, really nice. But it wasn't very strong. It was good for a sort of everyday um, look. So I didn't know whether to maybe go in for number three. Number three is a lot darker look. Can you see that? On each card, there's a sort of lighter version and a more smouldery version. So I didn't know whether to maybe go in for this. Let's go in for number three. Um, so yeah, basically it numbers the eyeshadows that you've got, one, two, three, and four, and then it's got a diagram, one, two, three, and four, and you just have to sort of muddle yourself along and see what happens. Now I found that when I was testing palette number one, um, the first shade, which was really light, didn't even show up on my eyes. So I'm just going to test out shade number one on palette number three, uh, even though it's not on my diagram, I'm going for the darker smoky look. Oh yeah, that does show up. It's a kind of smouldery, greyish taupe. Right, jolly good. That was just to sort of satisfy my own curiosity. By the way, foundation that I have on is the new Lingerie de Peau. Po, Lingerie de Peau? Guerlain. It's really, really beautiful, as you can probably tell. Um, so they use shade two and three here above the um, crease, and then four and a little bit of three on the lid. Okay. So I'm gonna layer it up. They take it out to the eyebrow, and they just leave a little bit free underneath the eyebrow. I suppose you could say the point of this video is to find out whether I can follow instructions. It's doubtful. Shade number three, it's quite a lot of sort of blendy stuff here, isn't there? I'm assuming shade number three they've sort of put through the crease a little bit. And then it all sort of stretches towards the tip of the eyebrow quite a lot. The brush I'm using here, which I've never used before, is the LY38A and that's from Louise Young. It's quite a nice size actually for just getting in the socket. So I just sort of poke it in, not poke it in because that'd be ridiculous and you blind yourself, but I sort of sit it in the socket and then backwards and forwards like windscreen wiper, as Charlotte Tilbury says. And then it does say a little bit of three underneath as well. So, oh, wrong one. So let's have a little look at that. Wrong brush, really. It's like trying to do my eyeshadow with a boxing glove on. I have to say, it seems to be working so far. I mean, I suppose the problem with this is, if you had no clue, I mean, I have barely a clue, but if you had no clue at all, would sort of matching the diagram up to numbers help you? Because you don't know what kind of brush to use. I mean, you would assume from that picture that you would use that applicator. <laughs> applicators. Okay let's go in with number four. Number four it looks like is all the way along the lid and underneath. What have I just seen that'd be good for underneath? Maybe this Charlotte Tilbury one, what's this? Eye smudger. So along the lid. Very nice eyeshadows by the way. Really nice and soft, easy to blend. If you're scared of eyeshadows, then they're pretty easy to use, I'd say. It's 
How's that looking? I can't really see. Which is always helpful. Um, it's looking like a smoky eye yet. But anyway, the whole premise of this video, ooh, hello, was um, the fact that I really like the fact that all these eyeshadow palettes are coming with um, instructions or little diagrams because I think it makes a difference between buying an eyeshadow palette that you will never use because you don't really understand how to use it or, you know, there's just no guidance on it and one that you might end up using every single day because you follow your little diagram and you learn how to do it and that's your eye look. You know, it doesn't matter whether that's your eye look for ever and ever and ever until you die, really, does it? Um, if you just master the one, that's quite smoky, isn't it? Let's put some mascara on and see if it all sort of connects up. I'm using this bourgeois one with the, um, the mirror. Volume reveal. It's called. And I actually really like this mirror idea. I feel it's something that could be um, incorporated into every mascara. Because I have really bad eyesight. And you do actually get a really amazing view of your lashes close up. Just before I do my mascara cleanup, because I've got rubbish all over my eyelids now, um, I'm going to use a bit of brow stuff. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow, which I've banged on about quite a lot before, but this is the new version, because they've sort of relaunched all of their brow products. A lot of them I really like, a couple of them, not that, oh bloody hell, I'm not that keen. Let's try that again, shall we? You do have to be quite careful with them. Um, with this stuff actually, as you can see, because it really loads the brush and um, it's sort of like a thick paste that's a mixture of fibres and colour and you sort of comb it through. Probably a good idea would be to have a bit of tissue to hand and sort of comb it out on the tissue a little bit first so that the brush is a bit drier. Because you can see it really does have quite a lot of of colour to it. Now, if you don't have any brows to start with, then this really isn't the product for you because it sort of clings onto whatever brows you've got. I don't know whether you can see that there, the difference between those brows. Um, so if you've got no or very scarce brows, it's not really going to do anything and you still need to have your pencil and fill things in and all of that business. However, if you've got okay brows, but they're just really fair like mine, um, and you just want to give them a little bit of colour and a little bit of thickness, this is amazing. As you know, I hate doing my brows. I'm really not into that whole sort of sculpted brow look. Um, where people draw them on and have a really definite line around them. But sometimes, if you've got quite a uh, smoky eye going on, it's nice to have your brows a little bit defined. I'm using shade one, by the way, so you can see that if you were really, really fair, it would probably be a bit too much. Last thing I'm going to do with my eyes, just to sort of connect it all together, is to add some eyeliner to the waterline. This is Marc Jacobs Highliner in Brown Out. Yes, I'm pleased with that now. Rather pleased. I don't think I was very good at following instructions, but there we go. Bit of colour on the cheeks, just to finish off. Nothing to do with my eyes at all. Um, nude Nuance from Estee Lauder. This is discontinued. It was discontinued years ago. It's actually one of my favourite um, cheek colours. It's just like a really nice pale neutral with a tiny, tiniest bit of pink in. Sorry, because that is really irritating to use something that you can't get. But I'm sure that they must have something similar. They wouldn't have discontinued such an amazing thing for nothing. And I shall find out for you what the closest thing would be. 
Then on the lips, the YSL Rouge Volut de Shine. Um, these oily sort of lipsticks, oil in lipstick. This is shade 44, it's beautiful. It's got a nice bit of pink in there. I'd use a nude lipstick, but I think it would all look a bit too brown and flat, wouldn't it? So there we go. I tried to follow instructions. I'm not sure whether I succeeded. <laughs> but we're only doing a little old casual video anyway, aren't we? So, you know, just messing around with things. I'll list all the products below that I've used today. And I shall see you in the next video, where I think that I might be talking about... No, I'm not going to promise that. I was going to say highlighters, but that could be the video after the next video, so I'll let you know. Depends how we get on.